we're doing Planet Wisp. Yay! I like this song too, actually. The Act 2 version, at least, anyway. Yeah, see, I just wasn't saying anything about the crunching ice. Huh. But, you know, I hate the sound of skates on ice, too, so... The sound makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Let's see. Needless to say, I stay away from ice ranks. Huh. That's a really oddly specific thing. I guess it, it's probably more like I don't like the sound of like anything messing with ice to begin with, other than like maybe ice breaking. But cutting ice is definitely not in any fashion whatsoever. Or crunching ice, you know. Basically, I just I hate ice. I hate ice too, but I mostly hate driving on ice. Just winter weather in general. I don't care much for that either. Yeah, I didn't, winter sucks. Yeah, I, I used to just kind of deal with it, but then I started working uh, like really far away from my home, and Ooh. one day I got stranded. So yeah, that was that was pretty much the end. That was that was that was it right there. At least you didn't uh, put yourself in a ditch right outside your house. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that was a thing. That almost that, that was almost a thing for me. Uh, that was the point at which I realized there was no way I was getting home that day. That night. I am pretty disappointed that I that I did. That, but Rocket mostly because <laughs> mostly because it cost me uh, ninety five bucks to get my car pulled out of the snow. Oh no! Yeah, yeah it was kind of a thing. Um, Golden Wing and Alex are like, we're going to the store, and then. Uh, they, to yeah, King. about that. Or Burger King or whatever. And then Alex... I, I can't remember if it was Alex or Goldwing, actually. But one of them walks into my room like five minutes later. Hey, the, the car's in the ditch. <laughs> it was me. Right. So I was like, yeah. hey, get your car. We'll see if we can pull it out. The only... The and only... then... Go ahead. Uh, we discovered that my truck would not, in fact, pull his car out of the ditch. It was too deep. Yep. I think the only <coughs> thing that came even close to that for me was when my old car broke down for good. Uh, my old, uh, I had a Mazda 626. Uh, I think it was like 2000 or something. And I called the Green Ranger. And. It's good to know I'm not the only person who names the car. Well, I haven't really got a name for the one I'm driving now. But, but yeah, I named that one because probably because it was my first car. Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, that car, uh, one day I was driving home and there was smoke and I stopped and my car basically would not start again. Oh. Hmm. Like, like I lost power and like I, I wound up just kind of maneuvering it to the side of the road. Um, oh, no, that was bad. Um, but yeah, the, um, when I, after I did that, you know, I actually had, was lucky enough to have someone that saw me on the side of the road to check the car, and like, I forget what it was exactly, but like, it was like, basically bone dry. Not the gas, but like, I, I don't remember what The it oil? Was. Not the oil. The thing, the coolant, I think, was like, uh, oh, the antifreeze. It had no antifreeze? Yeah, I think it was like completely empty. Oh, so the uh, it, the engine overheated and seized up. Yep. And it was done. Ah. Yeah, that would fucking do it. So yeah, it uh, that was that was not fun. We kinda had to emergency buy me a new car and that's how I have the one I've got now. Fortunately, what kind of car do you drive? I drive a uh, Pontiac G6. Ah, 
Noct's mom used to have one of those. Yeah. It's uh, not the best, but it gets me plenty to go. And it's still better than the old jar, so. Anyway, Alex, my truck does have a name. It's called The Truck. The Truck. So it doesn't actually have a name. It has, like, a descriptor. It, it has a title. It, it has a descriptor in the way that the dude has a descriptor, Alex. Oh, that's a very good point. I actually saw a guy with a, at work with a little Lebowski Achiever shirt. Huh. <laughs> I chose not to say anything because I'm just like, I don't want to make this. <laughs> yeah. No, my bike, uh, I call that properly by its given name, the Silver Wing. The because Silver Wing. What more do you need to say? That that's good enough for me. As you don't call it the Silver Hawk, like the cartoon of yours. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, knocked. I understand that. Like I, I get a little bit twitchy anytime I see a big Dodge Ram. Like I can't remember what year my dad's truck is like it's at 2000 or something but wait what's wrong with g6 is for you because her mom used to drive a g6 and every time she sees a g6 on the road she thinks oh god it's my mom oh okay i think she's in trouble <laughs> my mom used to drive when i was growing up she drove a jetta let's see uh both my parents, I forget what kind of car it was exactly, but uh, they both drove Pontiacs at one point, and then my uh, my mom got a uh, Dodge Shadow, and that poor car, we, we had a fender bender in it, and that, that car just it did not, it did not, it was never the same after that. I'm trying to remember some of the cars my parents have driven over the years. Like, I remember my dad's cars mostly. Um, he had a Subaru Brat, uh, the hatchback, not the truck. Um, uh, I think Just a... close enough to get the needles. Right. Oh, oh, or Taurus, it's coming or down. Taurus. forgot about that part. Uh, two different Dodge trucks. And the uh, Monte Carlo. And right now they've got a uh, Honda Civic. Uh, um, God, what is it? Uh, Chrysler 200? Hmm. Okay. And, uh, um, Fuck, what is that little bastard? Uh, an RX-8. Miata? No, the... It came after the Miata. Oh, okay. See, I don't really know cars. You'd know better than I would. Yeah, it's a little sports car. Mm -hmm. Not the convertible, but uh, it's... A little four-door. It's got suicide doors in the back. Good encounters. So something weird is going on here. I suddenly uh, don't have a menu. Hmm. I'm trying to remember the second car my mom drove. I think it was... Very strange. I think it was a Dodge Caravan station wagon. Escort. An Escort LX, I think. Ah. First car was a... A Jetta of some kind. That's all I remember. I am very confused. I don't seem to be able to go into the stage with uh, Little Sonic. That's weird. Just Girl. a second. We'll just go back in. Let's see. Jetta first, then, then the Escort. Then she drove a, a Mercury Villager. Nope, still can't go in there. What is going on here? Did you do the previous stage? Oh! You know what? I might not have. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm 
Well, we're out of order, but that's okay. Order is important. No, it isn't. Not in this game. Unless you want to uh, actually advance the game. Apparently. Well, it's not important in the sense that you can do them in whatever order you want, but not in the sense that uh, you're going to be able to do the other stage afterwards. Okay, so... Get past that, that nonsense. Stupid missiles. I don't have enough momentum. It's like you're playing Sonic 4 Episode 1. <laughs> mm. Only not quite as bad. I really got used to that instantly dropping momentum thing, and it really threw me off when I started Episode 2. <laughs> I bet. After the village. I think... Actually, I don't think she had a car after that. Hmm. Well, not for a few years. Yeah, I think my parents are driving a Voyager and a Lexus of some sort now. I don't remember what, what, what uh, model my dad drives. My mom has driven more vehicles over the years than I can fucking count. Yep. Because she's obsessed. My parents are very thrifty about this sort of thing, so they tend to get cars and keep them for a good while. Ride them into the ground. Oh, yes. Well, no. Uh, no, not exactly. The Silverwing, which I purchased from my dad, is a 1981. Whoa. Uh, he got it in 1986. That was not fair. You're not going to time the swing so that... It's actually possible to just jump across on no, falling platforms. No, that looked a little bit bullshit. Yeah. Like the fourth part of my mom all goes to uh, my late great uncle Buick. Mm. And now I don't actually know what she's driving. I never really bothered to look. Hmm. The last two actual cars I remember my mom having. Um. Well, she had my dad's brat for a while, but after that she got a Geo Metro and then a Pontiac Sunfire. And then she's spent the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years since then uh, getting trucks every, at every opportunity. It's huh. just been a long string and I don't remember um, any particulars. So is that where Kelly gets it from? That's kind of where Kelly gets it from. Aside from Kelly Beach. <laughs> to be fair, Kelly is not as short as my mother. Short enough. Kelly, by the way, is my big sister. It's okay, she doesn't watch this stuff. And we're not we're not gonna talk about her anymore because we don't want to trigger any rage here. No, my big sister. I like my big sister. Oh! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had more than one sister, I'm sorry. I've got three sisters, and okay. Kelly is the only one that's worth a damn. Okay. I've got all sisters. It's all sisters from here. <laughs> More sisters than a usual novel protagonist. Mm. Except all the ladies. Oh, now that I kill killed them all the talking. For what now? Exactly. I'm I'm confused. I'm sorry. You I actually the conversation. Oh, okay. Because I was literally uh, trying to focus <laughs> on the game. That's Most... tough when people are yakking in your ear, isn't it, Striker? I know, right? So rude. Depending on what game you're doing. Yeah, I'm doing okay though. Oh, 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 oh man, I missed the room. Okay. I saw those laser beams coming, like, uh, no. Please, no. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is some nonsense here. But I have other reasons not to want to talk about siblings, and we're not going into that. So, let's see here. For Striker's benefit, I'll read this aloud. This is knocked. I will retell the bacon story for Striker and Alex's benefit. Okay. I went into the fridge a little while ago. An amazing story. 10 out of 10. Oh, damn it. Keep going. Went into the fridge a little while ago. 
I'm still waiting. Uh oh. I'm. Uh oh, come on. Where did the cock hand go? It's still going around. You said, you said clock hand, right? Yes, I said cock hand. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Did you think <laughs> I said you gutter brain? Anyway, um. <laughs> exactly what you think. Continuing. I see two Ziploc bags full of bacon and written in Sharpie on both are labeled vegan. I, for I stare, look back out to my mom. That's a Dan joke, right? Dan being her brother. Mom laughs her ass off. We're making fun of vegans now? Is that what's going on? <laughs> uh. Let's see. Oh, this, this clock now. section is so bullshit. I hated this. Yeah, this is this is kind of nonsense. But at this point, wait, did I I fell out? I fell out. Huh? God damn it! Wait, what happened? I'm actually not sure at all what's going on here. Because Why you can get that red ring while you're up there? I guess, Maybe. but the camera's all. Screwed up now. I, I can't actually get over to the, to the hand now. That's odd. Very. Now I'm just trying not to die because I only have three rings left. Well, maybe dying would benefit you in this case. It's a possibility. It's gonna happen sooner or later anyway. Oh, I got one ring. Uh. Yeah, I literally can't get to either the hand or the thing in the middle. Uh, Striker, just kill yourself. That Whoa. sounded worse. Why don't you than... tell me how you really feel, Karen? <laughs> let's, see here. Let's, uh, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Striker, kill Sonic, please. Okay, yep. I'm, I'm trying. Wow, try harder. There we go. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Okay, so I've got five lives left. You know, it'd be excellent if I could just skip the stupid clock side. That'd be great. Can't yeah. skip time. No such luck. For a game that's ostensibly about time travel, um, you seem awfully stymied by this clock. <laughs> Oh my god, now you're reminding me, um, you remember, uh, that one comic, uh, Adam Warren, uh, Empowered, right? Yeah. There was a villain who claimed to be able to control time, and the way he controlled time was he hit people with clock-based weapons. Uh. Let's see, don't, don't you read Empowered? Yeah, that's what I thought, I was like, I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, there we go, there yeah, we go! I have several volumes of it on my bookshelf, although I don't white remember where I left off. Yeah, I, I'm, I felt way off of it. You know the uh, guy that did it? You know, Adam Warren actually put uh, started putting him up online. Really? Yep. With uh, commentary and everything. It's kind of neat. Hmm. I, just can't, I can't get over how he draws lips. It bugs the shit out of me. I think he makes fun of his own uh, you know, his weird lips. He makes fun of his, draw, his art style all the time, actually. Like how he'll draw a uh, empowered off model in like with a different body type than she actually has. <coughs> but yeah, I just that that whole thing with the clock reminded me of that particular segment. Master of time. Uh, Vector the Crocodile. Kronos, master of all time. <laughs> that actually comes up in Sailor Moon, too, believe it or not. Oh, dear. Kronos, the master of all time, that is. Oh. Okay, you know, so... You know how to set the clock out of ECR? Fool! Nobody <laughs> knows how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... It is time to cut an episode. So next time on Radical Bromance, we do Act One of uh, Final Wisp. 
more. Jungle. And we might actually talk about the game at some point. Maybe, possibly, probably not. 